Hello and welcome back to Learning the Lawyer for Beginners. My name is Sharon. Today we are going to cover another method for playing our lyre, and this is called the strumming method. Now this is very familiar to you again if you play the guitar or um, a ukulele or a banjo because you would be um, playing by strumming. Now the, the neat thing about the strumming um, with our lyre is we don't have to worry about um, our left hand on the frets and you know change changing um, where, where we're going to be putting them and you know memorizing chord structures because on the lyre um, the, the chords structures are pretty similar so if you're doing a read a root co a root chord um chord then you just play one three and five over and over again it doesn't matter if you're playing a c a d an f a g an a it will always be one three five are the notes that you are looking for so let's look at uh the c chord for an example uh, the c chord the your your one note is c and your third note is e and your fifth note is G. And how we do that is we count from C. So C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, and G is 5. So 1, 3, 5 becomes 1, E, G. And if we are plucking, that's how it will sound. Now, but with strumming, we need our left hand because our left hand will be blocking the chords, the notes that we don't need in the chords. So in this instances, if you could, I'm going to bring it up to you here. Because I want to play the C chord, I need to block the D, the F, and the A. That way I know um, the range where I'm going to play. So I'm going to be plucking. And you can put your fingers up high if that's comfortable for you and pluck, pluck lower here. Or you could put it a bit lower and pluck higher. Whichever one suits you, whichever one is more comfortable for you, I tend to play up here because that is what I'm used to. So I block up here and I play down below. Um, the one of the uh, one of the reasons we're blocking as well is to keep us in the range to keep our blocking in the in the range that we need for that chord because you don't want to go past uh, the the G chord otherwise it won't sound a C a C anymore if you pass the the G note so let's try that. And that's how easy it is. You block the notes that you don't need in the chord, you stay in that area, and you just go ahead and start blocking from the from the root note, which in this case is C. You can also block using your thumb. There's a bit, bit, bit of a sound difference when you use your thumb. I find it's more mellower when you're using your thumb and a lot more brighter and louder if you are using a pick. So that's it for the strumming method. I do want to encourage you. I am putting out um, a video at the same time as this one. I'm releasing it and it's going to go into a lot more detail about how to play chords and all the chords that we need in the C scale, how to form them, how to do inversions and um, apply them to a couple of songs that I'm going to be providing for you. And I hope that you will join us in the challenge of um, playing new songs with your lyre. Um, I hope that you have found all of the methods um, th that's been featured in this beginner series useful to you and you, you uh, pick the one you like and and uh, let's play a song um, using using your choice. So that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in. Please do subscribe so that you don't uh, miss any of the updates and I will see you soon on the next video. Happy playing!